This is the Business Experience Show, where we connect those who want to know more about digital marketing, social media, and business strategy with entrepreneurs who are succeeding in today's marketplace. Follow our blog, join our online network, or connect with us at thebusinessexperienceshow.com. And now, your host, Lisa Caprelli. Welcome to the Business Experience Show. I'm Lisa Caprelli. With me is Brian Gaps. Each month, Orange Label hosts an individual from an organization or business in Southern California that has overcome obstacles and made their mark as a thriving brand leader in their community and industry. Rochelle Ryder, agency principal and co-owner of Orange Label Art and Advertising from Newport Beach, is here today and with us and has a special guest. Welcome, Rochelle. Thank you, Lisa. It's so good to be here. Today, we have a very special guest, Carrie Burnight of the Ageless Alliance, United Against Elder Abuse. The Ageless Alliance is a nonprofit organization whose stand is to unite individuals of all ages against elder abuse and neglect. And um, so we have Carrie today. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. In addition to Carrie being an incredible human being, I'm gonna give you a couple highlights of her bio. She's a PhD in gerontology, She's the director of the Elder Abuse Forensic Center in Santa Ana. She's professor of geriatric medicine at University of California, Irvine. She's also the director of Ageless Alliance Orange County. And she's actually been featured as a subject matter expert on Dr. Drew on Headline News and the Dr. Phil Show on CBS. How was that for you? <laughs> very, very new for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we saw both episodes and thought it was wonderful. Um, and we're so fortunate to have uh, the opportunity to work with Carrie and her whole team at UCI and the Center of Excellence on Elder Abuse and Neglect. So welcome, Carrie. Thank you. Yes, glad you're with us. You have such an impressive bio, and you are very still humble and, and appreciative. Uh, I'm glad you're with us. Explain to us, Carrie, uh, the Ageless Alliance name and the purpose it serves. Well, Ageless Alliance is really a social justice movement. So just as we realize it's not okay that women can't vote or it's not okay that people of color have endured intolerable discrimination. Today, people are saying, coming together and saying that one, we recognize that a lot of older adults are suffering and two, there is something that we can do about that if we all come together. And this is certainly a worthwhile cause and people can understand it, but what are some of the action steps that you've taken while building the Ageless Alliance? I'm so glad you asked about action steps because when people are suffering and when we are at such a pivotal demographic time, it is not enough to just say we're coming together. It is the action. So first, the professionals came together, and when we created the Elder Abuse Forensic Center, we had the doctors, law enforcement, district attorneys, public guardians, mental health. But the big missing component was what all of us can do. Teachers, children, students, radio announcers, baseball players. Right. <laughs> so that's when we got connected with orange label advertising and that's really when it took off and and so I think you went kind of national at that point right we did and so did going from a local cause to a national cause happen much quicker than you expected it did and if I could take a minute to talk about the suffering that we see not only here but nationally, and then that it loops around to answer your question about going from the local to the national. Because what I found is that anything that you do, it is by di rolling your sleeves up and dig digging in locally that you start. So what we were seeing is we were seeing older adults in our community who we had a man they said was natural causes, and in fact there was a latex glove lodged in his throat. Wow. We had a, a woman who, because she'd been wearing the same bra for so long, her skin grew over the bra and a scalpel was oh required God. to, it to use too. it. Um, their financial abuse is just staggering. Adult children who move in with family members to, quote, take care of them. And before you know it, they've drained their bank accounts. They've, um, you know, had all their friends moving in. And then when people really do need the care, the, the finances are not there for it. There's also sexual abuse. Yes. We've had an old, older woman in her 90s with a condom wrapper. Uh, and then we have, of course, the emotional abuse, which was 
at first you think, oh, that's not so bad. It's just emotional. But as it turns out, that can be every bit as debilitating, if not more so, than the physical abuse. And Carrie, some of this stuff is really hard to listen to. And do you find that with people? Or are they willing to listen to it uh, because it needs to be heard and needs to be dealt with? No. And before we connected with Orange Label, we would share our passion and, and coming from a geriatric medicine perspective and talk about elder abuse. And people would sort of put a pillow over their head and right. say, I don't want to hear that. It's just too awful. And so that's where Orange Label could come in and say to us, let's explore your topic. They interviewed our patients, people on the street, professionals we work with, and they got the t terms that we could use. And they're the ones they came up with the name, Ageless Alliance. So instead of being hopeless, right. we're now hopeful. And everyone wants to see a positive result, positive um, outlet. So they helped you with messaging. Yes, that's exactly right. We don't have any expertise. We're gerontologists <laughs> and geriatricians. Yes. So for us, they were able to create the brand, right. create our name, our logo, our look, the website, public service announcements. We were had the printed materials. And um, we even now um, have T-shirts and bumper stickers. And I'm on the road seeing other people with our Ageless Alliance bumper stickers. And I about crash when I see it. I'm so delighted. That is so <laughs> great. But those are some of the um, important parts of taking your message national. Yes. In order for us to serve, in order for us to remedy this suffering, we have got people have got to recognize that there it's out there and that regular people can each do something and it's the only way we can really accomplish change is by everybody taking a small step forward and part of that getting people involved in that is the name yes right and how did that evolve yes so ageless alliance the process that they used kind of amazed me. So they went out and gathered from all the people we work with, all the words connected in a positive way and a negative way. So mm -hmm. we talked about elder abuse and all the words we use, but also what, what would it be like if in a world that didn't have elder abuse? And that's where we came with ageless, the fact that right now I happen to be 43, but I'm also a 10-year-old and I'm also the future 110-year-old. Right. right, and we're all going to be old one day, and we yes. want to know that we're protected, and we want to know that there's somebody there to protect us against elder abuse and neglect. For listeners who don't know, Carrie, what is elder abuse and neglect? Well, the, it's one thing to give you a formal definition, but then I'll, I'll give you more of a flavor. So formally, we're talking sure. about any knowing, intentional, or negligent act by a caregiver or any adult that causes harm or serious risk of harm. The reality is much much tougher than just the definition. So in Orange County, for example, we have 800 reports of elder abuse every month. And national studies show that for every one that gets to us, 23 are unreported. So it is, as I was mentioning, it is the physical, financial, sexual, neglect, and emotional mistreatment that comes from ageism, entitlement, ignorance, and pe thinking that people are less than as a result of being older. And that's kind of a difficult message, but you've turned that around and turned it into a message of hope with Ageless Alliance. Yes. Orange Label then said, we see your passion and we see how much you care, but we need to be able to translate you, medical world, into the rest of the world. And that's where being Ageless Alliance united against elder abuse, then when they created the public service announcement that subsequently was played not only on the Dr. Phil show, but also in the White House. Wow. And we, we, were, <laughs> we were pinching ourselves. That is great. So someone listening to this, Carrie, maybe they know their neighbor or they know someone in their own family who's being abused or neglected. What would be your message to them? What can they do instead of feeling paralyzed? I'm so glad you asked. If you are worried about someone in your life, you don't have to know for sure, but what you do need to do is report it. If, you, if it seems like something emergent, then I would call law enforcement and call right away. And also you can call Adult Protective Services. And every 
here in Orange County, but across the nation. Adult Protective Services are social workers who will come to the home and check out what's going on. And if your loved one is in a nursing home or a facility, you call the ombudsman, and they'll investigate what's going on. But it's it, doing something is infinitely better than doing nothing. And your agenda is to, to re, not to report abuse, but to prevent it. Yes. So it's one thing to be able to address it once it's already occurred, but prevention is the ultimate goal of Ageless Alliance. So people across the nation saying, if we are visiting, if we are listening, if we are teaching in our schools right. that it is that ageism will no longer be tolerated, that's where we're going to prevent it from happening in the first place. So can someone find this information on your website? Yes, they would go to agelessalliance.org, and there you would get information on what it is, what are the red flags, what to do if you suspect it. It can link you to our other partners, uh, um, the National Center on Elder Abuse, for example. And all of this has come from donations. So if your heart, you know, encourages you to do so, you could make a donation as well. But it is free to join. It's Thank you. Yes. It is absolutely free to join. And get information. Yes. All this information. Again, if someone's listening, if you know somebody that's a friend or family member and maybe you suspect uh, abuse or neglect, go to agelessalliance.org. This is why Carrie created this for you. Yes. And do you find that your efforts help empower government agencies in combating this by bringing the importance of elder abuse to the forefront? Yes. We really learned that given the complexity legal, medical, ethical, it cannot be addressed by one. It can't be just social workers. It can't just be doctors. It needs to be people coming together from different disciplines and saying, how can we serve this older adult? There's also adults with disabilities who are often mistreated as well. And so the penal code that covers older adults also covers adults with disabilities. I want to add that as well. So what I'm saying also applies to younger adults who have disabilities. And so your work with Orange Label Advertising is probably indescribable because of all the things it has empowered you to do, from marketing and messaging and, and drawing in the public to impacting government response and creating national awareness. Yes. Uh, we Orange Label created a PSA, and at that time we didn't even know what a PSA was. <laughs> uh, Public service announcement, exactly. if someone doesn't know. <laughs> For us in the medical field, it's something means something very different. And... So um, we created um, several spots, and when then the White House contacted us about doing an event, it was, it was like Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. We had built this PSA, and we could then, sh we had it ready to show at the White House event. And then again, like I said, on Dr. Phil's show. That's great. You put that spotlight on World, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, right? Yes. What would you recommend to nonprofits who are looking to strengthen support for their causes? What advice would you give? I would say you may be an expert in what you do, which is great. Mm -hmm. But in terms of getting the word out there and taking the next step and putting yourself out, particularly in this technology age of Facebook and blogs and Twitter, and that in connecting with somebody, and for in our case, yes. Orange Label. That is what took us from, you know, preschool up to graduate I education. That. Yes. <laughs> that, I, I think it also, it seems to me that it took you faster than you thought it would. It's been really just a year. That's and we've And amazing. people across in New York, for example, people would say, oh, Ageless Alliance, I just joined and this is what we're doing. And, and they're like, how did you do that? A, a year, over a year ago, you were just a seed in a sense. Yes, exactly. Just one little PhD saying, you know, <laughs> gathering with about five other people. So almost a year ago was the, the White House event, right? And yes. so it's coming up on the anniversary of that, which is the World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, yes. which is coming up. Tell us a little bit about this year's oh, activities. Oh, I would be delighted to. So World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is occurring in Orange County on Thursday, June 20th. And we're going to be holding it in South County at uh, Laguna Woods, and we have a room that holds a 1,000. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that people might come out for this free event that has free lunch. And the whole goal of it is for each of us, just as humans, to say what small step we might take in basically changing the world, in visiting someone. And we each have a unique gift that by offering that gift, that's how we're going to be able to empower older adults to have better lives. And who should come to that? Absolutely everyone. So we're going to have little children. We're going to have physicians, law enforcement officers, 
uh, attorneys, judges, mayors. So people feel like they can be involved and make a difference. And I love that you, you are inviting children. I myself have, a, have an eight-year-old, and I recently started doing volunteer things with him. So, it, and again, it, we say one day we're going to be this old lady, and <laughs> you better not do this to us, or if somebody is, there's information for you. That's right. So imagine where you'll be. 5, 10, 20 years from now. What is one of your goals to be 3, 5 years from now? Oh, I'm glad that you asked that. Um, the goal would be that traditionally when I say I work in the field of elder abuse, people give me a quizzical look. My hope is that <laughs> we, just as child abuse, we no longer question whether we should report or question whether we should get involved. Well, thank you for being with us today, Carrie, Rochelle. Um, this, you're listening to the Business Experience Show. For more information about Carrie's Ageless Alliance, it's easy. All you have to do is go to agelessalliance.org, and you will find all this information. Thank you so much, Carrie Bernard, Orange Label Advertising. Thank you, Rochelle Ryder. Thank you. To reach Carrie, you want to go to agelessalliance.org. It's free, yes. and she does accept donations, but more importantly, we want you to join. Go to thebusinessexperienceshow.com. You're listening to The Business Experience Show on Angels Radio AMA 30 KLAA. We'll be right back. Thank you, Kay.